keto mashed potatoes and gravy is what we've got on today's menu and both of these low carb recipes couldn't be easier to make the keto cauliflower mashed potatoes have just three ingredients and the gravy is made in just five minutes yeah it's crazy and crazy delicious so let's just jump right into it and get started all right so as far as picking out your cauliflower goes you want to try and find a head that's completely white and creamy in color don't worry though if all you can find is one that has some dark spots on it like this. You can always trim these off before cooking it later on. Now, as far as prepping your cauliflower goes, you want to rinse and wash it under some cold water before cooking it. And this is really just to get any dirt that might still be left on it off before you eat it. Then once it's rinsed, we can start removing the stem and leaves of the cauliflower. And just pulling those off with your hands like I'm doing here will work well enough. Now, once we've taken care of that, we're going to get out a paring knife and we're going to flip the cauliflower stem side up and start cutting the florets off the stem with it. By the way, to make today's low carb keto cauliflower mashed potatoes, we're going to need around one to one and a half pounds, or around 450 to 675 grams of cauliflower. And this is roughly around one large head or two medium sized heads of cauliflower. Anyway, once we got our cauliflower prepped, we're going to add some water to a large pot and we'll want to add around enough water where it's around two inches high in there. Then we're going to set that pot over medium heat and we're going to bring that to a boil. Now, once we've got a bubble bath going on in there, we're going to add our florets to the pot and then we're going to cover them and cook them until they're fork tender. And this will probably take around 12 minutes to happen. So once the cauliflower is soft and tender, we're going to strain it and then we're going to add it back to the pot we cooked it in. Also, at this point, we're going to add around 2 tablespoons or 28 grams of salted butter, as well as 4 ounces or 112 grams of some full-fat cream cheese. Then, after we've added those in there, we're going to use a wooden spatula to break down the florets, as well as the butter and cream cheese. With that said though, there's only so much damage we're going to be able to do with a wooden spatula. So, at this point, I like to use an immersion blender to creamify everything together and give these keto cauliflower mashed potatoes that authentic mashed potato consistency. However, if you don't have an immersion blender, don't worry. Feel free to use a hand masher or a fork. It might just take you a few extra minutes to get that mashed potato consistency that you're looking for from your cauliflower mash. So now that our low carb mashed potatoes are looking good, I'm gonna show you guys how to make a super quick five minute keto gravy to go with them. And to make that gravy, you wanna start by adding four tablespoons or 56 grams of some salted butter, to a pot set over medium heat. Then you wanna add two cups or 480 milliliters of some beef broth or bone broth to the pot, along with a pinch of garlic powder, a pinch of onion powder, a pinch of pepper, and then to thicken the gravy, three quarters of a teaspoon of some xanthan gum. Now we're gonna continually whisk those together until we've got a rolling boil going on in there like this, and then we're gonna turn the heat to a simmer and whisk the keto gravy intermittently for just a couple of minutes. Then. All that's left to do is transfer our gravy to a gravy boat and pour it over our keto mashed potatoes. And that, my friends, is how to make keto mashed potatoes and gravy. I hope you enjoy it. And as always, for more info on the recipe, check out the video description below, and I'll see you in the next one.